So find a comfortable place with or without cat in your lap, sitting or lying down and take a few deep cleansing breaths. And just get here. And I wish you guys could hear this, but in the background, my chihuahua is snoring. <laughs> it's like she's deep, deep in trance. So find a comfortable place. Allow yourself to sink into the chair or wherever you're laying. And bring your attention to your feet. Allow your feet to feel comfortably warm and heavy. And say in your mind's eye, my feet are warm and heavy. My feet are warm and heavy. Allow your warm and heavy feet to gently traction your legs, allowing them to sink into the chair, allowing all the muscles of your lower body to soften and relax. My feet are warm and heavy. My feet are warm and heavy. Then bring your attention to your hands. Allow your hands to be comfortably warm and heavy. My hands are warm and heavy. My hands are warm and heavy. And allow that warmth and that heaviness to travel up your arms to your shoulders, your neck and upper back, allowing all those muscles to soften and relax, allowing you to sink comfortably into the chair you're sitting in or wherever you're laying. My hands are warm and heavy. My hands are warm and heavy. And allow that warmth, that heaviness, that comfort to allow your entire body to relax from the top of your head all the way down to the tip of your toes. Waves of relaxation with every breath, relaxing you more and more. with every breath, softening your muscles, allowing you to feel more comfortable, even more safe. We're gonna count down from five to one. And with every number backwards, you're gonna go deeper and deeper into relaxation, deeper and deeper into comfort five, four, sinking deeper and deeper down, comfort, relaxed, soothing those muscles, four to three, doubling the amount of relaxation, allowing those waves of relaxation and comfort to flow through your body, sinking, sinking, sinking comfortably. From three to two, as much as 10 times more relaxed, comfortable, relaxed. From two to one, all the way down, down, deeper down, comfortable, safe, 
relaxed. And in this safe, relaxed place, imagine a time when you felt perfectly safe, perfectly safe, perfectly supported. If you can't remember a time, imagine a time. What did you see? What did you hear? Were you inside or outside? Is it daytime or nighttime? Were you alone or with people? Find that safe place. See what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt. Maybe smell what you smelled. Was there a scent? Candles burning, ocean breeze of that safe place. Were you eating or drinking anything? What did you taste? So be there now in that safe place. And allow that sense of safety to course through your body. And in this safe place, in this deep, relaxed state, be there, be comfortable, be safe and allow that sensation to flow through your body. And when you're ready, put your attention as a point of light behind your eyes and in between your temples. This is your center of head, your sixth chakra. Be a point of light behind your eyes and in between your temples. See a bubble around you in all directions, over your head, to either side, in front, in back, underneath you. This is your aura, your personal space, your energy field. be in the center of your head in your bubble and then create a tube of light that connects the base of your so base of your spine your first chakra all the way down to the center of the earth allow the center of the earth to ground you to tether you to increase that sense of safety So be in the center of your head, grounded in your bubble. In this safe place of your imagination or in your memories. And spend a few moments just being grounded and safe. See how that feels in your physical body. Notice how your muscles soften even more. Notice how your heart rate slows. Notice how your cares seem to melt away. Being safe, feeling safe, helps you relax helps you feel supported. And in this deep relaxed state in the center of your head grounded in your bubble, from the center of your head, look up to the top of your head, your seventh chakra. 
Sometimes I imagine it's a yarmulke or a cap on top of my head. And this is your connection with the God of your heart, with the Supreme Being, the universe, pure love, God, Yahweh. And play around with your seventh chakra. Go ahead and open it up a little bit wider. Close it down. Have it opened to a place that feels comfortable. And be at kindergarten space. You can't do this wrong. But with this connection of your seventh chakra to the God of your heart, you are connected to source. You are connected to that which creates everything. Einstein says that 90% of success is showing up. So the fact that you incarnated, that you got a body in this lifetime, in this moment, you get an A. The universe validates you simply for showing up. And when you open your seventh chakra, and allow yourself to feel that connection and experience that connection with the God of your heart, with pure love, pure light. Allow that love to fill you in. Allow that love to heal you, to fill you with purpose, with joy, with majesty, with all the beautiful and brilliance that there is in the universe. You are connected to and created from that same energy. Just soak it in, breathe it in, Take it in. Feel that connection to everything in the universe and let it empower you. Let it heal you. Let it fill you with love and kindness. And at the same moment, let it heal old wounds, knowing that you are connected to everything that created the universe. That is pure validation. Allow that to come into your space. Take a big deep breath and just breathe that in. You are created, you are creative, you are wanted. You matter. You have purpose. You have love. And in your mind's eye, in the center of your head, grounded in your bubble, connected to both the center of the earth and the cosmos, the universe. Allow those two energies, earth and cosmic energy, to flow through your body. It does naturally, you're just paying attention to it. And allow those two forces to heal your physical body to heal your mental body, to heal your spiritual body, 
your emotional body. And in your mind's eye, create a timeline. In one direction is your past. And in the other direction is your future. Now your timeline can be left to right or right to left. It can be down to up, up to down, or front to back. Just choose your timeline and have it hovering outside of your bubble. And whatever direction is in the past, affirm that. See the direction that means the past. And as if you're hovering over this timeline of your life, Hover over a time when you were wounded by bullying, when you were bullied, when you got injured, wounded, hurt, physically, emotionally, mentally, psychologically. Just pick one time. And go over as if you're hovering over that scene, hovering over your body. And you get to keep anything that's helpful. You get to keep the learnings. You get to keep the lessons. But you also have the power to heal what needs to be healed. So if you're over your inner 10 year old or your inner 34 year old or your inner 71 year old. Pick a time or an event when you were bullied and give yourself the healing that you needed in that moment. Take a few moments right now to give yourself that healing. And when you're ready, get to keep those learnings and give yourself your present time body, the healing that you just gave to your past self. In the next moment in your timeline, Hover over your timeline and go to a time when you were the bully, when you wounded someone else, consciously or otherwise. And give yourself whatever age you were when you were the bully and give yourself the healing that you needed when you were the aggressor and you were trying to be seen or trying to get your point across. Or trying to hurt somebody because you were feeling hurt. Because hurt people hurt people. Give yourself the healing that you need. Send yourself some forgiveness. Send some forgiveness to the person that wounded you. And send a healing to the person that you bullied.
the spirit to spirit. Again, you can't do this wrong. Let yourself have the learnings. What did you learn from that situation? And heal the wounds, take accountability, ask for forgiveness, pay it forward. Heal the person that you injured. Or persons. And of course, you can do this meditation, this hypnosis session over and over as much as you need. And then give yourself that healing. Send forgiveness to your aggressor or aggressors, those people that have bullied you. And any scars or wounds that are still left in your space, allow the universe to heal those to whatever degree you can have it today. Allow the universe to heal your wounds, heal your woundedness, and allow the universe to raise your vibration, to remind you of who you are, to remind you how special you are, how fabulous you are, how talented you are, how beloved you are, because you are. You are joy, you are forgiveness. You can do better starting now. Treat yourself with the love and kindness that the universe sends to you. See yourself through God's eyes and allow yourself to see others through God's eyes. Be one with that which created you and the universe. Hold that vibration, raise that vibration of love and forgiveness. Give yourself whatever tools you need to raise your own self-esteem, to raise your own self-worth to raise your own awareness of your beauty and your purpose. Allow yourself to validate self in a true, kind, beautiful, authentic way. And that when you feel good about yourself, that vibrates outwards and you're holding that energy field. So take this sense of feeling good about yourself, feeling really good about yourself and broadcast it out to the universe. Shine like the beautiful light that you are. Invite your friends, your family, your community to validate and match your validation and match your vibration. Allow yourself to send and receive love and to raise the vibration. Feel good about yourself. Feel good in your skin. And notice that and acknowledge that in others. Paying forward the kindness, the beauty, 
and the validations. Over time, ultimately retraining your own brain, your own sensibility about your self-worth. When you're ready, not just yet, to dial into this new, healthier, happier, more secure sense of self. And know that anytime you even consider self, you automatically reflect on your connectedness with source, your connectedness with pure love, and your ability to hold that and raise that vibration and attract people that will validate you and you validate them. Smile as you're sitting here, yeah. knowing that this is easy, it's joyful, it's playful, and it feels really good to heal those old wounds and to breathe love anew. In a moment, we're going to count from one to five, waking up and feeling great in our physical space, knowing that we have healed and will continue to heal, and we can revisit this meditation anytime. Concept of bullying can one day be a thing of the past when we choose to dial in. Count up from one to two. Maybe we're wiggling our fingers or toes coming back into our body. Two to three, feeling really good, noticing the shift. Three to four, feeling energetic, secure in our space, full of love and light. Four to five, eyes open, wake up. Healed, healed, healed. How to do, ma'am? I did a like time warp there. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> really? Yeah, I did. Mm. What kind of time warp? Oh no, I just I just was into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Thank you. I really so appreciate you playing along, allowing us to share this message of hope and you know, talking about our day to day lives as we do, and then looping around to something that's meaningful. I, I think mm -hmm. it's meaningful. And then taking a moment to heal whatever it is we're yes. talking about. Yes. Come for the well, chat. Thank you. Yes. And thank you, everybody, for sticking with us. Um, real quick biz business. Um, mm -hmm. We are going to, hopefully this week, my fingers are crossed, um, be also posting in the podcast a, like, a, a, like a weekly A and a weekly B so that if people did just want to click on just the meditation, you don't have to fast forward in the, sto uh, in the store notes. Jeez, I was really <laughs> into that meditation. Uh, into the show notes, you don't have to like fast forward. You can just click on the second version of our weekly um, podcast. So you can just listen to the meditation. We'll probably label it something that said meditation only. But if you notice over the next week that there's oh my gosh, what are all these podcasts? Like all these new episodes, they're probably our old ones, but we just posted, you know, meditation only. So, you know, yes. and as always, give us ideas, email us. That should be in show notes too. Yes. <laughs> I mean, if you just want to listen to the meditation, but don't you want the lead in and right. chit chat I think and so. fly on the wall? <laughs> the whole thing. Well, thank you everybody. I'm Kaylin. I'm Dr. Cynthia. Have a great this is day. Intuitive Hypnotherapy Podcast. Bye. Bye.